In order to get started with our project, we have to begin by downloading and configuring a code editor. There are a large number of code editors available, and you may already have a favourite one, perhaps Notepad++ or TextPad, in which case it's fine to continue to use that. I'm going to use Komodo Edit, which is a popular choice, and I'll take you through the process of downloading and installing that. Komodo Edit is a dedicated code editor, which means that like all other code editors, it can only save your scripts in plain text. Writing code is not like creating office documents. They're not meant to be printed out, but to communicate commands to the computer. So we must use an editor which saves files as plain text. A word processor is not suitable, because the files it produces contain formatting commands. Komodo Edit has a host of useful features for the programmer. It can highlight the syntax of your code, making it much easier to read, and helping you to spot errors. The colours and formatting used for the syntax highlighting can be customised to suit your preferences. It can automatically complete programming code and close tags, minimising the amount of typing that you have to do, and minimising also the possibility of errors due to typing mistakes. It can collapse and expand sections of code, making it easier to find relevant sections of your programs as they get longer. And best of all, it's completely free. We're going to begin by downloading the installation program from its website, activestate.com forward slash Komodo Edit. We'll install the software, leaving all the options unchanged as we do, and finally, if you want to, you can customise the syntax highlighting to a scheme of my own, which I like because I think it's clearer than the default schemes.